next I'm going to machine outer walls of the part. So I create new 2D contouring operation. Next I will select the tool which is 16 mm cylindrical mill which I will use for this operation like this. Next I need to select the job assignment. So I will turn off the holder visibility. Uh, adjust my view vector in order to see the part strictly from the top using mouse wheel click like this. Next, I need to select the outer edge of the part. So holding control key, I double click on the outer edges of the part like this. So and press curve button here. As you can see, I didn't uh, select all these little elements and didn't add them to the job assignment assignment because if I add them here uh, the mill will go inside these little uh, elements and the machining will be not good. So I'm going instead of this I'm going to extend my toolpath uh, in order to machine these elements correctly. So here I have the special element uh, in SpruceCam in for extending the toolpath. I click this element and drag it. As you can see, the toolpath now is extended from the both sides. So for me, this is fine, but I can turn it off pressing this button. So like if I deselect this uh, button, I will uh, adjust the toolpath uh, extension separately. So turn it on back. Okay, now it is adjusted simultaneously. Okay, I will make a little overlap of the toolpath in order to get better surf surface qual quality here. And the next I'm going to uh, adjust lead in and lead, lead out like this. So while dragging this uh, point, I see the sketch of the mill here and I can um, precisely adjust uh, lead in and lead out the out distance in order to make no collisions while the machining. Okay, like this and press run. So next I'm going to adjust the strategy a little bit. I, I will make um, finish pass. Here we have the special parameter. This finish pass will be 0 0.3 millimeters. Press run. As you can see here we have two paths two passes now. Okay, and uh, I will use this option at the bottom level only. So I don't need finish passes on on the both levels. I need only on the bottom level. So I select this parameter and press run. Here I have the finish pass left only on the bottom uh, level of the machining. So we can go to simulation and check. So first we will make holes machining, centering, drilling, as you can see, chip removal cycle is now working. And now we will see to decontouring. This is it. I will make it a little bit slower. Here we have the first pass. Next we have the second one and finish pass. Okay, that's it. 